welcome uh, back to this uh, valedictory session. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for taking the effort to sit through this course. And I hope uh, you have uh, gained something from it, both from the lectures and also from the laboratories. Uh, I want to say a few things about uh, you know, what drives me, what makes me enthusiastic about a course like this. The first thing is that in a course like this, the way Professor Fartak uh, designed this uh, whole series of courses, there are other courses uh, in which he has conducted too. And in all of this, an important part is the practical, hands-on aspect. And the theoretical part, you know, people can read from a book, uh, they can pick it up in other ways. Uh, it, a course like this helps in the sense that, uh, you know, when you ask a question, there are a lot of people that, uh, who, who, you know, have also taken the course and you can get answers from them. And uh, I think the experiment with Piazza has been very nice for this aspect. But like I said, the thing which drives me is the practical aspect. Now, if you look at India and you look at China, one of the major differences is that uh, Chinese seem to be producing everything on the, the sun. Any product that you see, they're making it. While uh, you know, we are great at uh, examination systems and so on, of course, we do produce a lot of fantastic products. But if you see the products that come out of our own institutions, many of them, unfortunately, are not uh, ready to go produce in the industry. We are looking at uh, computer science and more narrowly databases. But even within this spectrum, uh, all too many people who go out are not actually ready to go and produce stuff. They have uh, maybe learned some theory, but they have not imbibed the uh, drive to go and build stuff. And my hope is that the laboratory component of courses like this uh, will uh, expose a lot more teachers to the uh, you know, way we believe that laboratory should be run. I'm not saying that we have the ideal model. Some of you, I'm sure, will have excellent ideas and will run labs in your own way. But I would say this is like a minimum, at least this much. And if you can do better, fantastic. You know. Many of you have actually asked me questions for which I don't know the answer. Clearly, uh, those of you who did this uh, have been, uh, you know, picking up a lot of stuff. And I'm sure when you teach your students, you know, you may be uh, teaching them better than I do mine. Uh, but I, my goal is that uh, those of you who are not in that league are also brought up. So, uh, in this regard, I would really like to thank uh, all the colleagues of mine who have taught this course, namely the uh, resource uh, center coordinators at all the 250 centers and the people who have assisted them because they have taken on the uh, bulk of the load in running the labs in uh, grading the assignments in helping you uh, more important helping uh, all the participants when they go through the assignments i'm sure many issues came up i'm sure uh, there were software issues i'm sure there were places where people were stuck and uh, these are the people who have been uh, on the ground with you in helping you that part is something which it was not possible for me to cover from here. And that, I think, is a critical part of any course. So uh, I would really like to thank all the resource coordinators for uh, taking the efforts. They have spent probably even more effort than I have because they have come all the way to Bombay, spent a whole week uh, listening to lectures, doing the problems, and picking up everything. Uh, you know, Some of them surely knew all this stuff before, uh, but others uh, did pick up new stuff. And those who already knew it, hopefully, uh, you know, learned a little bit by interacting and helping out others who were not as familiar. And uh, now they have gone back and they have done another two weeks of this, um, helping all of you. So I would really like to thank all the my co-teachers of this course, the resource coordinators at all 250 centers. And uh, to all the participants, this is just the beginning, right? I mean, the main work lies ahead when you go back to your colleges and you run the courses. I hope that uh, the course will have a positive impact on how you teach the courses, how you run the laboratory components of your courses, and so forth. Uh, we have a very nice resource in Piazza, which uh, people have been using. It's not going to be shut down after the course. It will stay open, and you can continue using it. In fact, it will be most useful if many people continue using it. I'm sure when you set up software, you'll have issues, uh, you'll have doubts. Please go ahead and ask it. Some of the uh, uh, you know, participants of the course themselves have been answering a lot of questions on PHI. It's wonderful to see that. It's wonderful to see how many people have been asking good questions 
and how many students meaning the participants of the course have been giving very good answers. I would also like to thank uh, some of the teaching assistants from IIT Bombay, our own MTech students who have been uh, giving a lot of answers on Piazza. I was uh, pleasantly surprised to see uh, how many answers in I think there are two or three of them. Uh, Sumit uh, Sahu is one who comes to mind and then Pushkar. Uh, the number of answers that they have given on the Piazza site and, and good answers to the point um, are, is fantastic. There have been others who have contributed too. I have seen several other names there. I do not remember all of them. It will be a disservice if I name some and forget the others, but quite a few have played a big role in the Piazza side of things. In addition, of course, to the role that they played during the coordinators workshop uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, there were many TAs at that point, I think about 20 TAs who uh, helped out in that and who helped out those coordinators who were new and needed help. They did a fantastic job. So thanks to all those TAs. And uh, then of course to the uh, staff who have done a fantastic job. Uh, I will let uh, Professor Fartak, uh, you know, uh, tell you more about his big vision and then maybe he can tell you more about what his staff has done. So uh, with that I will sign off. Thank you and over to Professor Fartak. Thank you Professor Darshan. And uh, good evening to all the participants. Uh, unfortunately there are way too many remote centers, about 250 of them. I can see only a, a few of these in front of me. I think we will soon introduce some kind of a uh, management monitor which will automatically shift from uh, uh, 10 or 15 centers for 10 seconds like a photo frame where the photos keep moving. Uh, I have been, although I never interacted with you except at the beginning, I have been following the course progress. Uh, uh, you may not know this, but Professor Sudarshan made me a member of the Piazza. So I have been observing the interaction, late nights, etc., etc., and I endorse completely what Professor Sudarshan said, namely that the level of enthusiasm and the level of participation, particularly the level of question answers that went on, uh, are, are very heartening. It tells me that the majority of teachers have come here not only to just get a certificate, but actually to benefit from this experience of, of a course and how a course is run typically at IIT and how we believe you all ought to run this course. Professor Sudarshan mentioned an important point which I will stress once again. You see the same book is followed for a particular subject in most universities. Probably there are good teachers who teach from the same book. The two things which make a particular offering of a course different is the way problem solving is emphasized which is directly related to labs and tutorial sessions. I will as I said I reiterate the emphasis uh, placed by Professor Sudarshan and I think you would have also found that out that the crux of our style of conducting these training programs is to insist on fairly heavy tutorial and lab sessions. In fact, in most of the courses that we run at IIT, it is the tutorials and lab session which bring in the quality understanding in the minds of students. I would urge you as he did that when you go back and teach these subjects to your own students, please insist on a significant good effort being spent by your students in, in, in doing the labs, tutorials and problem solving. In fact, all of these are group activities and that is the reason why we assemble students in a group in a classroom or in a lab, etc., etc., just as 30, 40, 50, 60 of you have assembled at one place. This is one major difference between a massively online open course that is offered uh, by, uh, let us say, a, a large organization where 1 lakh participants may register. But there is a limit to which one can excel in understanding a particular subject to great depth if one is working alone. Particularly for discussions of problems, particularly for tutorials and labs, the group environment is most conducive. As I had mentioned in my initial address to you uh, at the beginning of this course, the role of teachers is 
increasingly changing in the days where ICT is becoming predominantly uh, incorporated in all our teaching learning processes. With the massive online courses, mere lecturing will not remain the role of a teacher, but problem solving, discussing issues with students, helping them to actually uh, conduct good experiments and helping them to build the systems using whatever knowledge they gain will become important. It is for this reason that there is an element of additional work to be done by all participating teachers. I believe it is a two week duration project and the projects have been assigned to the teams, I hope so. They have chosen, it. They have chosen the projects. So, <laughs> you will be working in teams over the next two weeks and making submissions. I am very sure that based on the experience that you gained and the learning that you had in this workshop, you will actually do a very good job of building some very good systems, at least prototypes, which could subsequently be used not only by you, but by all other colleague teachers as project problems in their own offering of the course in their own institutions. Because we propose to make all of these in open source. Talking about open source, I will once again request you with a warning that when you solve such problems in groups or individually and submit them with an intention that the solution and the problem will appear in open source for people to see, it is critically important that there should be no element of plagiarism in such submissions. We depend heavily on the self-discipline of the individual and the discipline of the individual teams to ensure this. So please remember once again that in your submissions, anytime, anywhere, but right now pertaining to the submissions that you make of the assignments, please ensure that everything that you write, the code that you write is all your own. In case you use some material from some other source, which let us say is important to explain your own work that you have done in the assignment, please do not forget to quote the correct reference from where such material is taken or from where such material is studied. Please remember that our actions in this regard of following ethics and having absolutely top class moral practices is critical because if something otherwise is observed by a student, any student in the country in the material that we open source, their faith and trust in us as teachers may dwindle significant. So my appeal to you once again, please remember that we are not associating an evaluation with the assignment for the purpose of certification. Although in, in IIT system we do that and we would like to do that, but even if some assignment, if we were to evaluate it formally, giving marks, etc., does not score good enough marks because people have not been able to spend sufficient time to solve that problem, that is okay. We will still issue the certificate of participation to all people. However, what you submit must be your own. Please keep that in mind. I am sorry for emphasizing this point again and again, but time and again you see examples to the contrary uh, which uh, belittle our faith in the fundamental processes, ethical processes that we must run at least in academics. I had mentioned to you that we would be running our first massive uh, online open course uh, sometime in August, September. There is good news that I have to share. Just now I am coming from a meeting which was attended by the deans and the uh, senior leaders in our academic programs and our educational technology people. And we have endorsed IIT Bombay becoming a member of the consortium called EDX, which is started by MIT and Harvard. If everything goes well, it is quite possible that IIT courses, at least some of them, could be soon offered under EDX with hopefully a lakh or two lakh students registering. While I am digressing, it is important for you to understand where things are moving. With these courses, for example, students from your colleges would be free to register for these courses and learn as much as they can. They will, of course, get some certification. But if that certification has to have a value internally within your own colleges, then it is important that your colleges and your university adopts a mechanism to accept 
the grades given by IIT Bombay and include them in your own grading system. What we expect right now at least is that the students who attend these courses will benefit to such an extent that for giving your own exams of your university, uh, solving your papers, they need not attend coaching classes, but they will benefit from whatever understanding they have. We will of course be using a blended model, not a completely, uh, uh, what should I say, online model alone, where we may use <coughs> the existing remote centers and other colleges to permit assembly of these students in groups either for discussion sessions or solving problems or for interaction with IIT bomb. As I said, we believe in a blended mode of education just as you see now where so many of you have assembled at one place because that group activity makes a lot of difference, a lot of sense where discussion happens and clarity comes out much better even if someone else asks a question and somebody else answers it. I would also like to mention a few things you have been experimenting with the clicker application on Akash tablet. Sadly, not all remote centers could receive all the tablets and in some remote centers the tablets were not issued. Clicker application is not the only thing that you do with Akash. In fact, the 250 remote centers including all those where this course is being, this workshop is being conducted have agreed to offer at least one subject to one class of students next semester which they will teach using Akash. How exactly they will use Akash is up to them but primarily they will use the quiz module, they will use the facility to store video recorded lectures, they will use the facility to store maybe simulated labs or virtual labs whichever way they want to do. I will be getting back to them independently on this issue. But just for the benefit of uh, those 250 remote centers, my team has planned a demonstration come interaction session on 22nd June, is that correct? 23rd June, I am sorry, 23rd June, uh, my colleague uh, Mr. Rajesh Kusharkar will get back to you with the details. The idea is to ensure that each one of the remote centers is able to conduct quizzes locally without having any internet connectivity or anything because that is what the teachers teaching a subject using Akash will be using in the coming semester. So this will be uh, done on 22nd. Uh, of course, all the participants of this workshop who have been issued Akash tablets, please make sure that before you leave for your own respective places, please return these Akash tablets back to the coordinators. These will be again available to the participants of the subsequent workshop for teachers and of course in the meanwhile they will be used by the students of these 250 colleges. Since there are more than 9000 teachers, a large number of which comes from colleges other than 250 colleges, a normal question is whether suppose I come from a, 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 a college which is not a remote center, let us say I come from a college in Ranchi or Jarsukula which is not a remote center, but I have students in my final year who would like to do projects on Android development on Akash, would my students be denied an opportunity? Let me give you an answer. The answer is no, they will not be denied an opportunity. While distributing these tablets, we have kept a few tablets, not few, a few hundreds of tablets with us at IIT Bombay. I will soon be writing a letter to each one of the engineering colleges in the country asking the college head and the professors to find out whether any students in their final year are a willing to uh, conduct or are willing to do a final year project in terms of developing either an application or content on Akash. We would then expect teachers like you in these colleges to look at these proposals and select any two proposals that you think are best. We will then request you to send these proposals to the nearest remote center and through these remote centers we will issue to your college four or five tablets which can be immediately be used by these final year students and their teachers who are working on this project. This way we expect to reach each of the 4000 colleges in the country and since you are attending this workshop I have the privilege of sharing this information with you first 
although we will be informing all the colleges later. I have already mentioned that in the coming years, the role of a teacher will change from just that of lecturing to one of problem solver, the one who facilitates discussion and most importantly, the one who conducts labs and experiments for the students. Please use the knowledge that you have gained during this workshop to dirty your own hands. It is not uncommon for us teachers to depend upon programmers or system administrators to do the routine job of installing software and solving all kinds of problems. And of course, in normal operational circumstances, that is probably the right thing to do. But let me tell you a secret. In IIT Bombay, each one of us who offers courses which requires the backend software to be installed on, uh, and, and tested and so on, each one of us faculty members has actually dirtied one's hands to begin with. There is no faculty member here who runs a lab, who uses certain software, but who has not personally installed the software, personally faced the problems, and personally solved the problem. It is not uncommon for a faculty member in IIT to work closely with the system administrator and together to sort out any problems of any new software that needs to be installed. I think since you have worked yourselves with your own hands, but in using that software in the labs here, when you go back, please do try the following. And in that respect, you can take some hints from the workshop coordinators at each of your remote centers, because they have actually practiced the installation and such thing. Uh, I do not know whether uh, the participating teachers also Should had a session. Yes. So please go back. I, I will agree not 100% but 110% with Professor Sudarshan that the main difference between a good course and an ordinary course offering is the fact that large number of practical experiments are performed, large number of uh, problems are solved, fairly large code is written by the participating students because that is where learning happens, of course, in the courses of the kind that we are talking about. There would be other theoretical courses where this would be essential. But in most engineering courses, practicals, lab sessions, problem solving is the heart of a good quality course. I am very sure that with the two weeks that you have spent, you would be able to imbibe part of this important ethos. And when you go back, you will be able to teach your own subjects in a much better fashion uh, back home in your college. Before concluding, I would like to extend my personal thanks to all the workshop coordinators and their institutions for supporting this uh, uh, great project. The National Mission Project is deemed to be successful. The 9,000 teachers who are participating are going back happily entirely because of the coordination work that is performed by my coordinators and their respective institutions. In no small measure, this entire workshop has also been supported by a large number of people at IIT Bombay itself. Professor Sudarshan has already mentioned the important contributions made by his teaching assistants. And let me tell you, it was not limited only to answering queries on Piazza, but they have done a whole lot of work earlier in, in setting up the uh, lab problems and, and variety of things. We have, of course, our large team which conducts these workshops here. Uh, so I would like to, again, like Professor Sudarshan, I would not, not like to name people, but we have people who manage the workshop administration, we have people who manage the audio-visual systems, we have people who manage the financial transactions, we have people who manage the logistics handling. Uh, many of them are sitting here, I don't think, can we, uh, uh, can we have, yes. There are some of the people that you see here, not all of them, many of them are doing their jobs at different places. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, uh, Team T10KT, as I call it, 10,000 10, teacher program. And uh, uh, there is another program being offered by our sister institution, IIT Kharagpur. I am sure many of your colleagues from your colleges would be attending that uh, particular workshop which is on analog electronics. Uh, we at IIT Bombay will meet you again formally for another two-week workshop in the month of December. 
But in between, uh, rest assured that there will be a continuous interaction with us, first in the form of the assignment submissions that you make, second in the form of certifications, the certificates that will have to be printed and sent. Uh, incidentally, I would like to request all workshop coordinators to very quickly send us the complete attendance list so that the certificate printing process can start. Of course, the certificates only will be given when the teams will submit their final assignments. Uh, all in all, uh, IIT Bombay is very happy and proud to see more than 9,000 teachers participating in this national mission effort. Uh, it is us teachers who have a responsibility given by the society, namely to train the young minds. Let us learn from each other. Let us learn from whatever is the best in the world as we have tried in the last two weeks. Let us continuously update ourselves by learning whatever we are doing subsequently and let us offer the best learning environment, the best learning experience and the best knowledge to the ultimate beneficiary, namely our students. When you go back, please remember this and work towards this. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Professor Fatak. Uh, he's the person who's conceptualized this whole program. And uh, he's a really driven man, uh, works uh, 24 by 7, uh, much like the uh, servers with uh, zero downtime. <laughs> so it's really nice that he has conceptualized this whole series of programs. And uh, I think he has more than earned uh, the distinction which he was conferred earlier this year. I'm sure almost all of you would already know this, but uh, you can see uh, one part of the reason why he's now uh, Padmashri Professor Fatak. Thank you, Professor. Thank you.